All right, you guys, they did update the articulation a little. They fixed one of the major problems that I had with the original Illy dolls. Hello and welcome back. So I am going to start unboxing and reviewing the new Illy dolls. I'm really excited to get these out of the box. Um, the This new wave from the Disney store is really cool. It's like neon themed or glow in the dark themed or just nighttime spectacular themed. I don't know what's going on, but um, I'm, they've been sitting here for about a week. Um, it's been a week since I did that live stream where I took them all out of the box and did the uh, story time. By the way, if you want to know how I got all six of this wave uh well minus the without the boy i didn't get the boy one yet but um how i got all six of these for only 15 dollars go check out the uh, story time video that i did and um, i kind of talk about that whole thing it was it was a thing <laughs> it was a process anyway i've got a disneyland walkthrough going on in the background on the tv um i've got my ears on and i am ready to talk about some disney dolls now these are the disney illy or I love you forever dolls. If you are not familiar with this doll line, uh, or if you're somehow new to it or um, new to my channel anyway, um, these dolls are essentially Disney bounding dolls. They are generic characters. So this girl right here does not technically have a name, but their outfit and their overall look, their makeup and hair and outfit and everything is inspired by a Disney character. So in this particular case, um, um, this doll is inspired by Snow White. So for example, she has like the poison apple Mickey ears or mini ears, poison apple t-shirt, stuff like that. If you're not completely sure what Disney bounding is, Disney bounding is basically a way that you can put together an outfit using certain colors and accessories to make the outfit look like a particular character. Technically, you can also like bound as other characters that are not Disney, but we're just talking about Disney bounding for right now. So. Disney bounding started because anybody who's over the age of 13 is not allowed to wear uh, costumes inside of Disney parks. So if you go to Disneyland, you can't dress as Snow White. <laughs> you're not allowed to actually look like Snow White or whatever character. You know, you're not allowed to wear a costume if you're over a certain age. Only kids are allowed to do that. And the main reason for that is just for character integrity. Disney does not want other guests mistaking you as one of the official cast members who are portraying one of their characters. But basically, diehard Disney fans still want to dress like their favorite characters and a lot of fans found a way around this by doing what is known, now known as Disney bounding. I've put up a couple examples on the screen so you can kind of have an idea of what a Disney bounding outfit would look like and what character it was inspired by. This doll doesn't really necessarily read Disney bounding as much as they are just wearing like Snow White merchandise. To me, that's just my opinion. Uh, you'll see better once I get her out of the box, but you know, this is, she's wearing black and red and green. Um, it's giving me more Evil Queen vibes than Snow White, but the stuff is there. Like, you know, this poison apple is from Snow White and everything. Anyway, the uh, outfits are meant to like mix and match. So like the reason that these are generic characters is that you can mix and match their outfits. There are also fashion packs. I have most of them, um, but these ones are a little different. Once I get them out of the box, I'll be able to show you that they have like makeup and everything that make them specific to this character now which is interesting because the previous round like the previous two waves of these dolls were more generic so you can mix and match and everything here is on the back the picture i already kind of showed it to you earlier but this is the lineup of all the dolls in this particular wave or this particular release of these dolls and they all seem to have um, you know, a theme around like the nighttime, whereas I think the first round of dolls that we got were more themed around the daytime um, or designed around the daytime. These seem to be designed more on the nighttime with the like nighttime sky and the um, fireworks. Hidden Mickey, by the way, three fireworks right there. That's a hidden Mickey. <laughs> um, and they have like 
streaks of lighter color or color you know in their hair as well as their ears apparently glow in the dark so i am going to test that out later on to see how well the glow in the dark feature works since these are the disney store version of the dolls uh, they come in one outfit with an additional outfit piece uh, like usually a jacket or some kind of over piece that goes with the outfit that they're wearing and they have a balloon here that has a surprise uh, basically it's a blind bag situation and inside is going to be a little disneyland treat uh, it's still it's a little like toy um, like little figure of some kind of food item uh, for the doll or for your dollhouse but it is themed around a treat or a food that you can get in one of the disney parks she also comes with some glasses and another accessory we'll take a look at that in just a second i'm actually going to go ahead and get her out of the box speaking of which and i will be right back Okay, so I've got the doll out of the box. Um, speaking of the box, I just wanted to show you this really quick. When the original dolls came out, the picture on the back of the box had the dolls set up in front of Sleeping Beauty's castle in Disneyland. And I just noticed while taking this doll out of the box that in the back of the packaging here on the inside, this to me looks, I don't know if this is correct or not, but it looks like it is Cinderella's castle in Disney World. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if this is one of the other castles, but to me, it kind of looks like Cinderella's castle at Disney World. It also kind of looks computer generated, so it really could just be a generic Disney castle and not like a specific park, which would not be the first time that Disney has done that. Um, they've done that for like the brushes that you get with the classic dolls. Uh, they have a generic castle um, molded onto the back of it, just so that way it can be sold at any of the um, Disney parks. Anyway, okay, so here is the doll. Now, I don't think I said this earlier, but I'm actually opening these dolls. I, I don't remember if I did them in a specific order last time, but I'm opening these in chronological order based off of the character. So the release of the movie for the princess or the character that the doll is inspired by will determine the order. So obviously I'm starting with Snow White because Snow White is the OG princess. She, Her movie was the first ever uh, full length uh, feature length, I'm sorry, F first ever feature length animated cartoon. So um, naturally I had to start with the Snow White inspired doll. I did that because if I had to decide like what order to do these in and which was my favorite, I was going to be here for a while. So I was like, okay, chronological order it is. I really like this doll. She has a very edgy look by comparison. So here is a close up of her face. Um, since all of these were ordered online, I feel like I got pretty lucky. They all look pretty good overall. I don't see any wonkiness to the face screening or any messed up inset eyes or anything she actually looks really good the only thing about her makeup that i might have liked to see it a little bit better was um the eyeliner doesn't really the black eyeliner doesn't go all the way up on top so it kind of makes her eyes not look as defined um but that's something i can actually fix myself if i really want to i love these colors by the way i love the red streak in her blonde hair um and then she does have like i mentioned they each have like a little I keep wanting to say cutie mark, but that's my little pony. No, they have like a little beauty mark here or some kind of makeup thing that is relevant to the, the character that they're inspired by. So obviously for Snow White, she has apples or an apple and then just like little sparkles around it. I love her gold and red makeup. This particular color of red is really, really pretty. Like it's not a bright, bright, very like red red color it's kind of a more subdued almost like a coral red and i love it i think it looks so beautiful with her blue eyes now speaking about her hair her hair is a polypropylene but this is a higher quality polypropylene than the last dolls it actually feels nicer surprisingly and i don't know if there's be i don't know if there's like hair product in here like softening like something to make it feel softer but it's actually kind of nice it's still a polypropylene i would like it to i would like to see a nylon or even a saran if possible that saran is my favorite but um it definitely is a polypropylene i can tell just by feeling it but it is a major improvement 
I don't, I don't know where the other one. <laughs> I don't know. I keep looking, but she's not at the, she's out in uh, a box out there. But anyway, um, yeah, from the first wave, the, this is a, an improvement, even though it's still polypropylene, it's nicer. Also, if you want to know how I'm able to tell what hair fiber the doll has, or what, you know, you want to identify what hair fiber your doll has, I did make a guide for that. So I actually have a video. I'll link it right here if you want to check that out. That is a doll hair guide. And I go over all the different ways that you can identify doll hair by looking at it and feeling it. But I spent a lot of time on that video to make sure it had all the information I wanted it to have. So go check it out if you haven't had a chance to yet. All right, back to the doll. Let me zoom back in here so you can see some of her accessories. Here are her mini ears. I love this. And I think I've seen ears like this at Disneyland before. And I love when they do that. They do like a, a miniature version of something that you can have in real life. Because if some kid has this doll and they like the doll and they're playing with it and they can, and they're at Disneyland and they can get these ears to match that that would be so cool i i love when that's an option and they are painted all the way around which is cool i'm curious to see what part glows i wonder if it's the paint or if it's the bow itself anyway she does have some earrings so not all of these illy dolls have earrings but this one does here we go i can show you a little better now with the hair out of the way um but these are the earrings these are really cute i know that the red is supposed to be an apple i believe um or is it a heart I say to me it looks like a heart and actually I think it is because underneath is the dagger and I, I think it's supposed to represent when the evil queen tells the huntsman to go get Snow White cut out her heart and put it in the box um you know Snow White was not like that kids friendly now that you think about it anyway um but yeah I think that that's what this is supposed to represent it's supposed to represent the heart box or the heart emblem on the box and the dagger I also apologize I am losing my voice it's just because it's allergy season I cough a lot during allergy I don't sneeze as much from allergies I cough and anytime I have a cough it always makes me lose my voice and it just makes it worse if I talk a lot so I I'm going to do my best to make sure you can still hear me. So this doll is wearing a t-shirt dress. It's got a, a v-neck, but then it has a ribbon across right here for the collar. This looks really cool to me. I actually really like the design. Um, like I said, it's it's very edgy. Like it's it's kind of like a hot topic kind of feel to it, or at least hot topic when I was in high school. <laughs> um, but I, I really like the the edginess. The sleeves are made from a mesh. There's even the bottom hem is like a mesh, almost like there's a mesh shirt underneath, and it's layered. Oh wait. Oh, <laughs> so this is literally just a mesh panel added on to the bottom and um, the sleeves themselves are sewn on. They are made of mesh. And then this is a ribbon right here across for the neck part. The picture on the shirt is really cool. It's the poison apple with like smoke curling around it. Across the top it says queen and underneath it's upside down, but it says poisoned. Oh wait, sorry, poisoned. I went the wrong direction. <laughs> she does come with a bracelet that matches her ears. And this is definitely the queen's symbol. So it's a heart with a dagger through it. And that is, that's really cool. Once again, I believe I've seen these bracelets before. I don't know if they sell them at the Disney parks necessarily, but I have seen people wearing them before. She comes with a purse. It is a clear translucent kind of acid green kind or like, you know, acid yellow, whatever color uh, purse see through. Um, it kind of is or is open on the top. So you can technically put stuff in it, uh, although it is kind of pinched closed. So you don't I don't know if you'd want to unless you just want to leave it in there. It has a painted apple on it. And then moving down to her shoes, she has these kind of like wedge sneakers, like wedge heel sneakers. Um, these are cute. I, they're not my favorite style of shoes that the Illy dolls have come out with, but I do really like these and I think they go with the outfit well. They do have painted details on the outside. There is an apple that's painted and then they have like gold painted for the, uh, the sole of the shoe uh, underneath and all the way around. She she comes with a couple additional accessories. So she comes with this. I'm not 100% sure what this is. Um, I don't know if this is meant to be like and a pass holder like you know you get your little ticket um and you can put it in one of these little ziploc things and put it on a lanyard around your neck uh, it kind of looks like that but it also kind of just looks like it's a bag of apples so like a snack thing i'm not 100 percent sure i'm gonna have to see if i can look up online what this is supposed to be but it has apples on it and it has the illy logo on it she comes with some glasses that are really cute and they kind of remind me of 
poindexter glasses or what a lot of people call hipster glasses because a lot of hipsters wore them back in the day um but let me put these on her just so you can see what they look like okay i'm kind of having a hard time getting these glasses to sit right where i want them to but there she is wearing the glasses and honestly i think i like her better with the glasses she looks super cute oh my gosh look at this oh my voice <laughs> But she is so cute. I really like, I actually really like these glasses on her. They make her eyes look bigger, but they're, since they're black, they go with the outfit overall and with the hair and everything. This is cute. And I think the reason I like this is because she actually looks like one of my friends that I'm thinking of. Like not not the exact hair color, but with the, the kind of um, edgy style. And if this doll had um, a slightly darker hair, more of like a, a dirty blonde or like a really light brown. Um, and, you know, same like with the glasses and everything. It reminds me of one of my friends. And I like, she looks just like her. So I, I really like this doll because of that. It's so funny because I normally don't like glasses on dolls. And I'm wondering if it's just because I haven't found the right glasses on the right dolls or the way it's designed or whatever. I am definitely displaying her with glasses because she, she genuinely looks really cute with these. I actually really like these and they go really well with the overall outfit. I like the black glasses with the black shirt. The only issue is I'm, I'm really having trouble getting the glasses to stay like the way her hair is rooted. It's kind of pushing the glasses to constantly do that and like be a little off skew uh, or askew, off kilter, whatever. Anyway, um, they're not centered. <laughs> um, so I'll figure it out and I'll do that. Um, but for right now, I just, uh, yes, I actually really like her with the glasses. Okay, so she does come with two other things. She has this balloon. It's a Mickey balloon uh, and it has the treat in it. I'm going to do that in just a second. Um, but she also comes with a shirt to add to her outfit. I want to put this on her really quick because I want to see how she looks. I actually like the color of the, the army green or the olive green or whatever it is with this outfit so let me see if i like it on her or if i like her better without it ah she looks so cute okay so i do actually like this uh it's it's a cute addition to the outfit um so it's just it's basically a shirt it's just like a cargo shirt an army shirt whatever you want to call it it's meant to look like it has it the sleeves rolled up and it has that little like the strap that goes on the elbow and buttons um obviously there's no button it's just sewn there but that's what it's supposed to look like and it, on both sides um and then there's nothing over here there there is some like embroidered detail but on this side there is a picture of Snow White about to bite into the apple and the picture is like covering the entire side because you can see like there's these uh, little dots right here it's like the the like wow comic book um, like whatever to draw attention to the apple itself and um, her bow and her apple and like the details on her dress and her lips are all painted red and then the shirt does have little faux buttons with these little studs or rivets or whatever these are called I was worried I wasn't gonna like the outfit as much because you can't see the mesh sleeves of the t-shirt but honestly I just I really like the way that this looks oh and there's even little um at the bottom I missed this but there's little like drawstrings um when you have these kind of like cargo shirts or whatever they have these drawstrings and it's usually to um cinch the bottom of the jacket so that way it's not just open they're not functional they're just aesthetic but still I like that they added the detail at least all right, so I don't know, like I said, I don't know if this is supposed to be her snack or what this is, if it's her um, park ticket in one of those like little vinyl things, but it fits perfectly in her purse. So I'm actually just gonna do that. I'm gonna put that in her purse. You can see it because <laughs> the purse is translucent, but it literally it fits perfectly. Like it obviously was meant to do that. Really quick, I wanna check out the articulation and see if they've changed anything from the previous wave of the Disney Store dolls. And then afterwards, I will check um, the Mickey balloon to see what treat we got. All right, you guys, they did update the articulation a little. Um, it is still basically the same, but they fixed one of the major problems that I had with the original Illy dolls. So these dolls have 
15 points of articulation. So they have movement at the head. They have movement at each of their shoulders, at each of their elbows, the, each of their wrists, as well as their hip. And they have a double joint for their knee, so their knee can go all the way back. And they also have a joint at their ankles. Now, the thing that they updated was the hips. So if you happen to see my review, or any, anybody's review, if you've seen a review or owned any of the original Illy dolls that came out for the Disney Store versions, they had an issue with the, the hips popping off the joint. Now, it wasn't broken. You're able to pop the legs back onto the joint really easily, but the problem was that the legs popped off really easily. I'm going to take these off. I didn't know how long these were going to stay, but they, they need to come off. But yeah, the issue was if you're getting this one of these dolls or one of those dolls for one of your kids and the leg pops off and they lose the leg, then that doll is missing a leg. <laughs> um, so I think that they, they took the feedback, I'm assuming, and um, they fixed the issue. So now they have a different joint in the leg. So that way the um, it's not just like a ball and socket anymore. They fixed the joint in the leg and now the legs do not pop off anymore, which is great. And I'm really happy about that. Unfortunately, the range of movement at the, of the hip joint is not still not as good as the Jack Pacific version of the Illy dolls. Uh, the Jack Pacific dolls can do the splits and these dolls cannot. Also, the Jack Pacific dolls can sit down perfectly, kind of like how I'm just going to use Pocahontas as an example. But um, Pocahontas can sit down completely like her body is, and legs is at a right angle um, and her leg her feet are still together these dolls if you try to sit them down what happens is they get this far and then their legs start going out uh, and it, they have what I call baby doll syndrome where basically their legs because of the the, um, the hole where the hip joint is does not allow for them to sit down perfectly so their legs start twisting and splaying outward, uh, which is really awkward, especially if you have a dollhouse and you're trying to get them to sit upright. They have to sit like this. It's really weird. I, that's the one thing, the one issue I have with these. I think I would forgive the polypropylene hair, especially since it, like I said, it does feel nicer this time around. I would forgive the polypropylene hair with these dolls. That's the last thing they have to fix is just make this. Sorry, my camera ran out of um, storage. <laughs> Who's surprised? No. <laughs> I, for, I always forget to clear out my memory card before I start filming. Anyway, other than the hair, the only other thing that Disney needs to fix with these is the whole of that hip joint. Just give it a little bit more room. Just make it a little, the, the hip mold a little bit more open so the dolls can sit down properly. Maybe even do the splits because that's the other reason why they can't do the splits is because, you know, that, that hole right there gets in the way. I don't know. Maybe it's not that big of a deal and I'm just like making a bigger deal out of it than uh, it needs to be. But but um, whatever, it's something that I think about, <laughs> something that I think can improve these dolls. Anyway, let's go ahead and start looking at the, um, the surprise, the Disney treat. Now, in the first round of these dolls, I kept getting the Disney, the Minnie Mouse pink macarons over and over. Luckily, I've seen the lineup. I've seen what treats you can get with these dolls and the pink macaron is not one of the options. The one thing I'm worried about is I did buy all of these in one transaction and they all shipped together. I'm worried they're all from the same batch and I'm going to get whatever is in here might end up being a duplicate and I'm going to get the same one in each of them. My hope, my hope, oh wait, uh, my hope <laughs> is that each of these balloons for each of these dolls is something different. I want a different treat for each of them just because I want variety and I want to keep getting the same thing over and over. Um, I know that it's very possible to get duplicates in a blind bag situation, but it is what it is. Anyway, that's enough like stalling. Let's go ahead and open this and see what treat I got. So um, there's like this little uh, dip right here. You can use your fingernail to pull it open and there's the treat wrapped in some paper. First, I want to take a look at this uh, checklist so you can see what I can possibly get in this. All right, so here we go. So they've got some donuts, some, is that shaved ice? Yeah, it looks like shaved ice, um, some cookies, some lollipop. This is what I really want. 
I want this is probably my number one, which means I'm probably not going to get it. But I would love to get these little uh, swirly lollipops or suckers or whatever they are. You got a Mickey Mouse ice cream treat with the bite taken out of it. Um, you've got Mickey Mouse ice cream sandwiches, a Minnie Mouse waffle. I do have the Mickey waffle from the first wave. Um, this one has candied apples again, but this time they are the Minnie Mouse ones and they are white and pink instead of the, the caramel ones. You've got the Minnie and Mickey um, cookies, sugar cookies, churros. I wouldn't mind getting churros because that's one of my favorite things to get at Disneyland. This one is a Cinnabon or like a c cinnamon roll or whatever in the shape of Mickey and a slice of pizza. And I don't know why, but I really want the pizza. I, <laughs> I mean, like I said, it, it, basically I either want the pizza or the lollipops. Those are my, my top two. Um, I would love to get the shaved ice and I would love to get the candied apples. Um, but Honestly, as long as I don't get duplicates, that's all that I care about. So let's go ahead and open this and see which one I got. It's flat, so it looks like it's gonna be one of the ones on uh, on a plate. So uh, it's upside down. Oh, okay, we've got the Mickey Mouse ice cream sandwiches. So here we go. Oh, I love that his face is actually like molded into it, but it's the, the little chocolate and vanilla ice cream, um, ice cream sandwiches. These are really cute. I'm going to have to put the, I, I need to get like a little display for all of my Disney treats at this point. I have, um, the Dole Whip and the popcorn bucket that I forgot, I'm so sorry, I forgot who it was. One of my subscribers sent to me and I'm so grateful. I, all the ones I got myself were in like in the box, uh, in storage, or not in storage, but whatever, they're out there with the, the rest of the dolls. But these ones were sent by one of my subscribers and I actually keep them on my desk here. So um, anyway, so I am really excited to have something new finally. And I wanna find a nice way to display all my little Disneyland treats. I don't know where I'm gonna display it. I have no room right now. <laughs> But at some point, I'm going to figure that out. All right. Anyway, um, I don't want this video to be too much longer or any longer than it has to be um, because I have to edit all these videos. And the longer I make it, the more editing I have to do. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. This doll is super cute. I'm really excited to have her. Um, I just think that she I, I love I love her glasses. I love her glasses. Now. I, I mentioned when I was taking them out of the box that I think that my favorite one was the Tiana one. But now that I've got her out of the box, she actually might be my favorite from this wave. Although she's the only one that I've gotten out of the box so far. So I don't know. That may change. It probably will change. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah. So I'm going to get going for right now. I am going to be unboxing and reviewing all of these. Maybe not all this week. I don't know if I'll have enough time to get them all done in one week. But this is my process priority right now. I'm just in a very Disneyland mood. Since I can't go to Disneyland right now, I'll do the next best thing and review some Disneyland dolls. <laughs> but that is going to be it for me. As always, let me know down in the comment section what you think of this doll down below. I just, that was redundant. Let me, <laughs> tell me your thoughts of this doll down in the comment section down below. And I hope I see you next time. <laughs> Bye. If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting thumbs up. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen. I post new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.